Again, back to the basics. What's up guys, Andrew here on my channel Gear Inc. where I get to share what I'm passionate about with you and on my channel that's PC Tech, Games, and Gear. And in case you're wondering why this looks different, me and my wife recently sold our home, we're gonna actually be purchasing another one. And so I'm gonna be filming out of the corner over here in our rental while the new house gets built. But holy shit, a lot of tech news that we wanna dive in today. I wanted to make this video and kind of give my two cents as well as update you guys if you're not paying attention to a lot of the new tech stuff that's coming out around the corner. So the first big thing is that we have official release dates for Zen 3 and for Big Navi, um, October 8th and 28th respectively. Now these new um, CPUs and GPUs are gonna be competing directly with the RTX 3000 series, which obviously unless you've had your head in a rock, you know are gonna be coming out in the next week or two. Now, Zen 3 rumored to have anywhere from a 10 to 15% uplift over current Gen Ryzen. And then for Big Navi, we don't know quite what to expect yet. There has been some rumored links of how much VRAM these cards are going to have and pricing, but there's nothing concrete. Although it is nice um, to actually have hopefully some competition. Although with what the RTX 3000 cards are showing, it remains to be seen on whether or not this is actually gonna compete with the higher end cards or much like the RX cards, just compete kind of with the lower to mid tier. Either way, more options is always better. Now in RTX news, there are some rumors of the uh, RTX 3060 coming out in October. Now we don't have confirmed CUDA core count. We don't have uh, confirmed VRAM or anything like that. But according to the rumors, the 3060 or potentially the 3060 Super or TI will actually have about 500 more CUDA cores than an RTX 2080 Ti. This is pretty nuts because if it's using faster memory, obviously with more CUDA cores and the pricing holds, you may be able to get like a 3060 for somewhere between $300 to $400 that would literally outperform an RTX 2080 Ti. Now, one thing that there's a lot of confusion on is SLI and Crossfire support. So I actually wanted to address that. Currently, the 3090 is the only GPU that actually supports SLI. I don't blame you if you weren't able to catch that because when Jensen, or as I affectionately like to call him, Leather Off Dead was doing his announcement. Come here. Come here, Bob. You may have missed or not seen that there's actually an NV, uh, you know, link bridge on that card because on that model he was holding, there wasn't. But if you look at actual 390 cards, you will see that there is a traditional spot for that NVLink bridge. Now, Crossfire and SLI are kind of a dead technology as far as gaming goes. You, it's never worked 100%. You know, only certain games support it. It doesn't give you like linear um, performance gains. And so the fact that they only have an 3090 actually makes a lot of sense to me because that's the card where you'd actually benefit from it in a non-gaming setting for like 3D rendering or modeling or, you know, doing anything that would be GPU intensive where you could actually leverage two GPUs. Because really when you do NVLink or you're doing like SLI, you're leveraging the VRAM, not so much the CUDA core performance. And so uh, more or less, I think Crossfire and SLI is essentially dead at this point, but we'll see if they continue to support it for you know virtually any games uh, moving forward. So anyway, guys, this is just a quick tech update of what's going on in my opinion. I wanted to make this quick video. I appreciate all of you. Yes, I'm still here. Yes, I'm still making content. Life has been a little bit nuts, but as always, if you like this video, leave me a big thumbs up. If you thought it was terrible, leave me a thumbs down. Remember to get subscribed and hit that bell icon so you know when these videos drop next as always thanks to everyone who's a patreon supporter and everyone who continues to support my channel um, i'm going to continue to make content or make all these videos whether you watch them or not but i hope you do and i hope to see every single one of you next time here on geared inc